Hey guys, here's a quick video on uh, HSRP. I'm going to go on and configure it at layer 3. And uh, with the default gateway of 10.21.22.1, or in other words, we're going to call it virtual router. So that means all of these clients are going to know that as their uh, gateway, default gateway. But anyways, uh, if you take a look at core 1 and core 2, I've configured v interface VLAN 10 on both of them. In other words, in other words uh, SVI 10 right there on core 1 and core 2. On interface VLAN 10 with the IP address of 10.21.22.2 on core 1. And interface VLAN 10 on core 2 with 10.21.22.3. So these are, uh, I already configured those. I have previous video, you can watch how to configure those and uh, I can help you if you have any question you can comment. Additionally, let's go on and configure this uh, core router for um, HSRP, core, core switch um, for HSRP and uh, with the default gateway of 10.21.22.1. Okay, we're going to click on uh, core 1 and let's go enable conf t and i'm gonna go on to interface vlan 10 that's an interface not just vlan and i'm gonna say standby i have to give it a group number so if look in there so we're gonna give it a group number out of these numbers we can say standby 20 and we give it uh, an IP address. Ten twenty one twenty two. That the IP address of the um, of the virtual router right there. Ten twenty one twenty two. That one. I'm going to type that. Oops. I should have typed IP. Standby twenty. That's our group number. IP address this. And we're going to press enter. And here, we're going to say standby again 20 priority. And what kind of priority we want to give it to? We're going to say uh, we want the core one to be always the active. So I'm going to go on and say priority 150. I could have it 101 as long as it's above the other side, we should be good to go. 150. And I'm going to go on and add the preamp command. Standby. I'm going to say preamp. Preamp will take over automatically, overthrow the other, um, the other uh, switch, which is uh, the other router or the layer 3 switch, which is uh, in active mode. Meaning if this uh, core 1 goes down and core 2 takes over, and as soon as core 1 comes back, it will preamp, it will take over and overthrow the core 2. So pretty much we are done here. Let's go and configure the same thing on uh, core 2. So I'm going to go to core 2. Let's go to enable conf t. And uh, let's say to, let's say interface VLAN 10. Standby. We're going to say, well, let's go and give it a group number. It was 20, I suppose. Uh, let's double check. Stand by 20. Yep. This group has to match. It's very crucial. So I'm going to say, stand by 20. IP 10.21.22.1. I suppose that is our virtual router so I'm gonna say 22.1 that is it I'm gonna say standby 20 priority 100 we don't want this uh, this uh, layer 3 switch to be the the active one so that's pretty much it let's go and take a further look at this side and that should be it there we go Exit, exit, as you see it, it already spoke.
and said it wants to be uh, it's part of the VLAN 10 or interface uh, VLAN 10 one it's speaking it want to take over or it is in in um, in a conversation mode with this uh, with this other side of uh, the connection so let's go and take a look and say take a look at um, the uh, the configuration we're going to say show standby brief okay as we see it now this configuration already have kicked in and HR, HSRP has been configured so we have uh, we have core one as we designated to be the active one there we go the priority is 150 is group 20 and state is active the other side core 2 has to stay uh, passive or standby in other words and this is the local and the standby IP is that guy right there this IP is core 2 it is on standby let's go and check out this this side as well show standby brief this one is this one is on standby and the priority is only 100 whereas the priority on this other side is higher and that's why it is that's why it is active so core one is active in this so let's go on and take a look at imagine uh, Core 2 just dies and disconnects. So I'm going to go on to T, interface VLAN 10. I'm going to say shut. When I do shut, this guy is going to speak up in a minute and this is going to turn into active. There we go. As predicted it. Now, now this, uh, this um, Core 2 it has become the active for the network to respond etc so let's go and say show standby brief look this is core 2 and now core 2 is the active with the priority of 100 still on that group and that is our virtual IP address so let's go on and bring this core 1 back on and see if it will take over again no shut exit exit it should come up now now the switch should take over now the core 2 should go down back to uh, to standby and core 1 should take over let's go and say show show standby brief okay it's probably in communication right now let's wait There we go, the other guy came back. Since now we see it, uh, core one has become the active and the other side become uh, standby. Okay, that's pretty much it and we are good to go. Alright, thank you for watching. Save config. There we go.